Okay, um, hello everyone, good evening, how are you all doing? Hope you're good. Um, this will be like a mini lesson on how to measure for beam. In case you have uh, a beam with different core section on your drawing, let's take for example the gym, um, the beam you have on your drawing, you would have um, this thing, you have different segments in the beam, and you want to make sure that all of this work together to give you accurate measurement at all so there's a way you would go about it let's say in the normal beam situation like if you check the past videos the normal beam situation you only measure from the floor plan that's the beam layout but we have a situation where the beam is different like you have various thickness like you have 230 by 300 230 by 400 30 by 600 and all in a single beam construction i want to do the measurements there was a way you go about it which is different show you girl okay so now we move into this beam here i've scaled this page already you see the beam here we have 230 by 600 we have 450 by 700 and we have so once you have several options like this on your drawing you know it's not easy to do it directly on the beam layout and this is how you go about it under the plugin here you see beam on that beam you see the concrete here so you just turn this on now once you turn it on it will give you this pop up here so that will be concrete in beam now once you've done concrete in beam numbers will be one now in the width here you pick this thickness here as the width in this situation hmm? so that will be 0 0.6 and the thickness is 0 0.2 now this beam is on the third floor not second floor so if you check the last upload i did i showed you how to create all these folders so this is another third floor so just make sure it's in third floor here once it's in third floor okay so if i come up here to pick from this point here i'll pick this beam here like this from here down to this point you see how it fits in directly now remember this blue color is for 230 by 600 just put that in the back of your mind you would see the advantage later on which other 230 by 600 do we have? It's another 230 by 600 here. So this is how you measure for your beam if you are having different beam thickness across your floor level. So we have this beam here also. And this stops here. Hmm? Now, once you are done with that, that's for 230 by 600. You will go to the next one, which is for 450 by 700. Hmm? So I click stop. You turn this back on. So make sure the name is still concrete in beam. Is the color that I use to differentiate them? Concrete in beam. So for concrete in beam here, number is one. Then this is 0.7 and the next one here is 0.45 third floor okay so i have to pick from this end here that's from this point here down to this point let me check if i have any other one of that dimension no okay that's all for that stop then the next one is 450 by 600 let me do the 450 by 600 next so now we turn this on now we concrete in beam so that will be one then this is 450 by 600 that's 0 0.6 by 0 0.45 now once you've done with this like this okay then you just pick from this point here down to this point then next one is 230 by 450 which is this one here to pick like this so always make sure the name is still the same thing concrete in beam always make sure it's named as this and then the number is one because it's just one floor this number is number of floors so it's just one floor that's the third floor alone then that's 0 0.45 by 0 0.23 once you've done that okay so you would pick from this point also 
then from this one also the next one is 0 0.45 by 0 0.45 that's from here so I just turn this on here and now we can create in beam number of flows as one then the width is 0 0.45 by 0 0.45 thickness to is 0 0.45 hmm? once you done okay then you pick from this point down to this point double click this shows you are done with this part of the beam already you can now come to the next page here and the beam continues on this page also so once you're on this page now scale this page also now be 5.74 so now be from this point here down to this point then point seven scale that will be point seven okay so that will be from this point down to this point here okay now once you're done with this you can always come to your view adjust dimension then make this point one okay hmm? now once you've done that we have the next one is 230 by 600 230 by 450 now on this page do we have any 230 by 600 no we have 230 by 600 yeah that's the blue this blue here is 230 by 600 so just come to the next page here hmm? 230 by 600 is this blue so just turn this on on once turn it on to affect this page also so 30 by 600 beam you just pick like this why the blue is for 30 by 600 you see so once you've done for the first page you can use it for every other page in that the beam design then 30 by 600 that should be all for this page then 30 by 700 let's see is there 30 by 700 on this page no but it's 30 by 450 that's this color this greenish color here that's 30 by 450 so just come here turn this on mm -hmm. so you just pick from this point down to this point you have this also then 230 by 450 i think that should be all we have 30 by 700 which was not in the previous page so you can now create for that now now it's concrete in beam number of floors is still one floor the width is still 0.7 and the thickness is 0.23 So, and just turn this on. Okay, so let's see. The next one is this one here. Hmm? Now, once you're done. With this you can now come to your takeoff summary here when i take off summary you just the third floor so let's come down to third floor this minimize everything the third floor is here concrete in beam which is this you check out this plus sign you have the reinforcement in beam which is this one here you have the top middle and bottom you can now come to the drawing let's go to the page this right click go to page now this blue one has Theory up, theory down, Y16. Hmm? So just do is come to reinforcement in beam. Bottom is theory, Y16 diameter. Top is Y16 also. Hmm? Top is Y16. Middle is 0 and 0 because there's nothing in middle. That's 0. Then this is 0. 
now once you are done with that the number of beam that's bottom is theory at the top beam number at the top that's theory you can now put the extra that's 1.2 once you've done this just click ok and you click on this drop down arrow you see we really have top and bottom we don't have middle anymore now for beam form work also just double click and just press one okay that's one floor beam links also put the details of the links the link here is y10 at 250 spacing that will be 10 the cover is 0 0.05 the bend that's this this is the bend this okay that's let's say 0.15 Spacing is 0.25. Number of floors is just one floor. Then OK. So you see you've added all of this already. Now this is for the 230 beam. Now let's take for example, let me go to the third page there. 230 by 4 by 600. Let me show on this third page. Do we have this 230 by 600 here also? Hmm? Let me quickly scale this page. That will be 3.2. Okay. So that will be from this point here to this point here. Then from this part also, that's 0.6. That will be scale to be 0.6. Okay. So this from this point down to this point here. Hmm? So I can now just use the view to change this adjust dimension and make this point one. That will be point one. Okay. Now once you've done that, this is 30 by 600. That is this blue one. If you remember, hmm? still this blue one. So just pick from this point here to this point. Then 230 by 600, that's from this point here to this point. Now, once you're doing that already, it's adding up. If I come down to this takeoff, you see it has increased already from what it was before. Mm? So, that really shows you that it's adding up everything you are doing as you proceed. I hope you understand. So, that is how you go about this. Now, you have the concrete reinforcement and form work in the beam. Now you can just come to the ADLM material schedule. Hmm? Material schedule ADLM, that's this. Come to concrete. For cement, click and drag. Cement ratio, that's four, two of sand, one of cement, and four of granite. That's for one to four mix. Hmm? Once you've done this, just click OK. So you have your cement. Your sharp sand comes in also into the concrete. The wastage percentage, let's use for five percent. Okay, then your granite also comes into the equation. Okay, now for reinforcement in beam also, come to your reinforcement here. Reinforcement bar. The size of the bar. It will ask for the size that's sixteen mm diameter bar. Then extra if there is any, let's just say 1.5 percent in percentage. You see 1.5 percent, 10 percent, 15 percent. There is 15 percent extra. Okay. You have your reinforcement bar, kg. Then the binding wire also you can just drag this in. Also the weight of binding wire. Let's say we have 20 mm. 20 kg. 20 kg rather. So this is the right. This one of the weight of the binding wire they are buying. We are buying 30 kg also from the market. You've seen it. So that is how you know this. Depends on your location. Then for form work also. Come out to form work. Marine board. That's beam form work. Okay. Bracing. Length of the wood, standard length of wood is 3.3. Then, per board, bracing per board, let's say I'm using 2.2 two, two wood per board. Okay. 
then the nail also just drag this in okay that's giving me the nails already now once you're done with that come down to report now under this report i need for third floor alone hmm? so i'll just do is click on this plus sign here under the dlm reports just type in third floor now for third floor once you type in third floor like this okay it loads this in come to this part here customize name should be third floor apply mm -hmm. oh, close this they just come to the preview here so we have third floor here we have the mid bar total width the bottom bar because mm -hmm. you know we edited just one that's why it's still zero everything mid bar should be zero once you are done with everything the reinforcement in beam this is it mm -hmm. so everything you made for third floor form working column is here already concrete in column concrete in beam beam links all of this is what you can now take to your bill of quantity for the cement to measure cement in beam or that 30 by um 230 by 600 beam we have 35 bags binding wire you have 1.1 terry wood bracing to form work we have this hmm? so cement sand granite reinforcement granite is 7.04 tons our sharp sand is also here your marine body is here your sharp sand is here so this is how you would be able to generate all of your ma what your material and labor should do using the adlm plugin as easy as possible that will be all for this video you can now export to excel export to pdf so you want to send to your client you can export to pdf you can export to excel so you can do some little bit of editing to this and send it to your client that will be all for tonight's session have a wonderful night.